absolutely love cooking, but I'm definitely it's it's done when it's ready type of person, which winds other people up to absolutely no end. Rather than setting timers, or using thermometers, you know, I just go by feel. When it's done, it's done. And for the most part, that works, whether that's by sheer luck or because I've actually picked up a thing or two over the years. So colour me somewhat a cynic when I hear about all these smart cooking gadgets, including Bluetooth thermometers. But that's exactly what the Meter Pro XL is, and the guys that make this sent me a unit, and actually this snazzy shirt to take a look at it. It's a block of smart thermometers that connect to your phone, sending all the readings there so you can keep an eye on the temperature of your food while cooking it. This video is a little different from the typical headphones or phone reviews I'd usually do, but if you like this sort of thing, drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel because that'd be super duper helpful. Make this smart meat from omelette hooks up to your smartphone via Bluetooth, so you can keep an eye on how your food's coming along while you don't have to stand over it. The idea is simple. You shove the from omelette inside your food before setting it off to cook, just like any other cooking bro. You can use it whether you're roasting, smoking, grilling, deep fat frying, or air frying. There's pretty much nothing you can throw at this that it won't handle. It sends temperature readings to your smartphone, so you can keep an eye on what temperature your food's cooking at. To take this temperature, each probe uses five different temperatures in the inside, and one that measures the ambient temperature. In the app, it also packs some rather smart features up its sleeve or at least it's supposed to, but you will get to that later. There's a guided cook system which walks you through every single step of the cooking process, while the advanced estimator algorithm actively calculates how long it will be until your meat is ready to eat. You can pick what you're cooking in Meat's own app to get cooking time estimations, or you can set your own temperature goal to cook freely. In theory, this smart thermometer feels like the perfect kitchen aid. To put the meat the Pro XL to the test, I'm going to be cooking up a nice thick ribeye steak from the butchers. To start, I'm going to season the steak on all sides with salt, black pepper and garlic powder cooker would be proud. I'll then let my steak sit at room temperature for a couple of hours. This not only brings the internal temperature up from cold so the steaks cook better, it also allows the salt and seasoning to permeate throughout the whole piece of meat for better flavour. While the pan, I'm using cast iron of course, is preheating, I'm going to set up the meter probe in the app and insert it into the steak. When the pan's hot enough, I'll place the steak in and begin the cooking process. For medium rare, I tend to go for a couple of minutes on the first side, then flip it over. I'll cook it for about a minute on the second side before adding in butter and basting for a further minute or minute and a half. When ready, I'll take the steak out of the pan and rest it on a chopping board in the butter and juices so that it stays nice and moist. It reabsorbs some of those juices so it packs plenty of flavour. After that, it's time to carve the steak. Cutting it open, you can see it's a nice medium inside. Maybe a little bit closer to medium well, but I'm pretty happy with this. And it's got plenty of juice on the inside. How was the meter experience, you ask? I can't actually give you an answer to that, as the thermometers didn't work. As soon as I put the steak in the pan, the probe disconnected from the block. Since these thermometers work over a Bluetooth connection, meter says that you need to keep the block close to each of the temperature probes when they're in use which is exactly what I did. And my flowing was right in front of this block here. So nothing was too far away. To see if this was just a one-off fluke, I've tried using it again, and again, and again. In total, I've cooked five different steaks with the Meter Pro XL now, and only one time the probe didn't disconnect. So, how does it work in that time? To fully test the Meter Pro XL, I told Meter exactly what steak I was cooking and how I wanted it done. Medium. It told me when to take the steak off the heat based on the temperature it was currently at, and accounted for the increase of temperature it would get as I let it rest or at least it was supposed to. When I cut the steak open, it was extremely well done. And honestly, it was really disappointing to see. The issue of the probes disconnecting is bad enough, as you don't actually get to use the product. But when you do get to use them and they don't work accurately, it's a pretty sorry state of affairs. Previously, I used the last generation Meter Plus. I managed to get a decent cook from it when I wanted a well done steak for someone else. But this Meter Pro XL is supposed to be a newer thermometer and a block of the same one. It's supposed to be better. If that is the case, it makes me doubt how effective any of the Meter thermometers would actually be. Or maybe it's a bit of potluck. So unfortunately, I can't actually recommend anyone go out and buy one of these, as it's been far too unreliable in my experience. This was a device I was really excited about, so I'm pretty disappointed by this. Meter, you've got some serious work to do for the next generation. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more. Is there anything else you want to see tested that's a little bit different like this? Let me know down in the comments section below, and I'll see you in the next one.